My nickname is the Vampire of Sacramento. Let me tell you my disgusting story. Hi. My name is Richard Chase and I used to live in Sacramento, California. At the young age of five, I used to love torturing animals and set fires. As I grew older, I became a heavy drug user and developed illness anxiety disorder. I often complain that my heart has stopped beating or someone has stolen my pulmonary artery. I would hold oranges on my head because I believed vitamin C would be absorbed by my brain via diffusion. I also claimed that my blood was turning to powder. After a short stay in a psychiatric ward in 1973, in 1976, I was hospitalized to a mental institution for injecting rabbit's blood into my veins. I was referred to as Dracula. I killed birds and drank their blood, and also extracted blood from therapy dogs using stolen syringes. Eventually, I was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia and after my treatment I was released to my parents' custody. My parents rented an apartment for me. Initially I used to live with my roommates, but they moved out and left me alone because they didn't like me. In the mid-1977s, I was arrested in a field near Lake Tahoe, Nevada, because the police found me covered in blood, however the blood was cow's blood, so no charges were filed. But then. On the 29th of December 1977, I killed my first victim, Ambrose Griffin, in a drive-by shooting. He was a 51-year-old engineer and father of two. I only enter unlocked doors of people's home as I believe it's an invitation for me to come inside. Once I was caught and chased off by a couple returning home as I stole their belongings and also urinated or defecated on their infant's bed and clothing. In 1978, I broke into a house and shot pregnant Teresa Wallen multiple times. I engaged in disturbing acts with her body, mutilating her and consuming her blood. Before leaving, I stuffed down her dog's feces from the garden down her throat. On January 27, 1978, I entered the home of 38-year-old Evelyn Maroth. I shot her friend, Danny Meredith, Maroth her six-year-old son Jason, and her 22-month-old nephew David Ferreira, before mutilating Marath and engaging in disturbing acts and cannibalism with her body. I escaped in Meredith's car with David's body when I heard a visitor knock at the door. The neighbor broke into the house and called the police. They found my handprints and shoe imprints in Marath's blood. I was arrested soon after. During a search of my apartment, police discovered blood-soaked walls, floor, ceiling, refrigerator, and utensils. I also sucked out all David's blood out of his body. I was sentenced to death on the 8th of May 1979. I was given prescribed medication, which I saved up to eventually overdose and end my life. Be happy I didn't check your unlocked door.